Hello fellow wrinklers. Here's the concertine book that is the end result of the National Poetry Month in April 2021. It was always intended to be read as one poem, Dayscape, from morning until night. Timestamps are in the information below or you can always go to the blog and listen to them individually there. Thank you for watching and listening. Dayscape Every day I wake differently. Emergent thoughts, piece by piece, spear as shards into existent space. I check trunk, limbs, digits, for warmth and well-being, stroke belly and ribs to test depth of feeling, determine that thoughts ruminating agree with my waking. Cozy, snug, smug, still in bed, rifling through memories, examining head, jitters setting in, too hard to live through these again. At a passive feast, but with no eyes, change thoughts, push them aside, get up, get up now, don't scrutinise. Sweep legs to the edge of the bed, lose the warmth, take a breath, stand still, collect and feel the shells of dreams slip away, it begins again that different day. Several deep, reassuring breaths, great energy and power of life. Break from remnants of little death. Teeth to clean. These days the gums need much more care, as do the lungs. Into the shower, what to choose. Neil's yard for feel good or basic no frills. Oils to pamper smeared on skin that keeps me whole and well tucked in. Towel dry now, check the sky. Still dark morning. Morning dawning, spawning life. And so to clothe the flesh today. Wardrobe ignored since Covid's stay. A few favourites now live on my chair. Pants, socks and tops still rest in drawers. My clothes go through a three day cycle. Worn clean half clean and then recycled. Laundry is quick, no sorting needed, into fast cycle unimpeded. Bed sheets still changed once a week, often Sunday, then sent to wait in the basket on the landing for Monday, ritual washing day. Yep, sadly mum died when we were young. But not too soon to pass on teachings grown from Caithness Tundra alongside five siblings, subsistence crofting and handcrafted knitting. Sunday was strange with a strong sense of nothing, not part of the week, dissimilar feelings to Tuesday, Friday or wash day Monday. For grown-ups relaxing, for children drifting to the BBC, and Charles Dickens on TV. Monday was wash day, gruelling and frantic, laborious work. Goblin tub with a mangle, lino pulled back and silverfish hurtling across red flags, these carpet shops tangling with our bare feet and shrieks. Strip bare in the kitchen, underwear in the tub, fresh liberty bodies, felt warm to the touch, Dangling, rubber suspenders held no meaning for us. Bodices weren't boned but had firm cotton strapping, encouraging posture as well as entrapping. On good days, straight out and pegged onto the line. Or clothes horses, fire guards dripping with wetness as drying takes days after days of dankness. Woolen cardigans under rugs within layers of the mirror, stretched as if crucified out on their beers. Dinner had to be easy, I remember quite clearly. Bed making, tidying, the sky checked for walking, dressed, 
ready for stairs, not two steps and jumping. My spinning head complicates, now I'm balking. Handicapped, one step, a stumble means falling. Anything carried requires lots of thinking, how best to transport through lugging and humping. A tray's a burden as both hands are needed. No more teapot by bed, though my freedom feels cheated. Small change chips away, creates space and then choice. Surrender, defeat it all, give voice to defiant solutions, rebel and rejoice. Just over a year, February 2020, visiting friends, walking, swimming, going to theatres, watching plays, films, chairing meetings, visiting museums. I gave little thought to striding out. Stately homes, gardens, galleries. Nowadays, outings need serious planning, lest COVID swarms over blockades and barriers. In vertical extent, hell deep in slabs, step on stories in pavements. Raining petals, floating, defying gravity, filmy chiffon, a head of leaves, buds behind flowerlets. A few days before sticks and scrags of tree bones are hidden. Are we in time on schedule with Japan? As nature sprites believing sacred powers not heathen. Walk completed, now to eat. Break my fast, no fat-free fads. Two soft-boiled farm eggs, gold gooey yolks, homemade sourdough makes stiff toast. Through its holes, butter is dripping, cut into fingers just right for dipping. For preserves, I leave a slice. And finally, fresh coffee to suffice. I love the mornings. A new day bringing grace to and into me. Such self-satisfied pleasure to have another day. Lavish magnificence, milk and honey, my own bed of roses. No cost blessings that excite, take breath away. Such luxury. I amble around my end of terrace, revelling in the time spent refashioning my borrowed triangle of earth. Knowing what it's meant to be gifted this space, casting seeds like spells and implanting trees and shrubs, I now embrace part of my extended self. Now I am this place. All about my garden there is vitality and happenings. Insects crawling, flitting, some getting on a buzz from rumours there's pollen nearby. Whispers of wingbeats singing, dancing a list of directions, bringing empty baskets attached to thighs. There is no subtlety just for playing as a pair of squirrels in understated mating set up house in my garage roof. Shrewd, intelligent, they elude the wool woven of wire and the steel mesh, stealing up and through to nest. Small tits razor sharp at operating the routes through and over airways, dart, dive, feast on seeds and balls of lard. Pigeons, stout like grounded galleons, square-rigged, traditional, old-fashioned, teeter and waddle in my backyard. Mine is a quiet, culturally mixed locale, near dwellers, near others, with differing patterns. I try and renounce any stereotypes as banal, opinions of what might go on inside their walls. Behind doors, quiet habits, unobtrusive but for smells that occasionally travel, dispersing into my world. I savour the pongs, whiffs, aromas, trying to isolate their root, maybe fish, meat or vegetables on the barbecue. With interest and applied concentration, I can single out the pleasure and recreation. 
the goings on, I begin to notice with edgy awareness the contrary is also true. The others in their houses are observing my life too. A bright red box obtrusive on the B road through a Derbyshire coal board estate. You could arrange to meet up and make or wait for calls. Black heavy phone in its cradle with its umbilical cord, dark brown twisted reaching to the dialing box. No cards invented, exact coins required. Money placed in the slot, reserves set ready. Set ready in the phone booth on the blacktop, careful not to drop. Once pennies were inserted, button A was pressed. This silver protrusion gave permission to request exchange of voices, views and news. Or button B was pushed, connection now ceasing, coins for retrieving. When empty, the box could be multi-use, a place for illicit fumblings by awkward teenagers, a urinal, display for sex contact cards, tramp shelter and many rendezvous. Button B pressing was part of phone tapping and childhood checking, liberating sweetie money to pay for fruit salads or blackjacks for a penny. All this rises now as awareness, as I realise, without permission, phones thrust their clamour into our lives. Appointments uninvited, flying from text to diary. Any left who remember life without inquiry? More to do, more to answer, end to end. Oh, I need to call a friend. My vote prompt arrived today, reminding me... All we have is agency. How we exercise it is our right. A holy fight. Though reluctant, it is that time in my day for intrusion of outside to inside. That gaggle from YouTube, Twitter and cable news. Yet, is it able to pass any bar to make it noteworthy exemplary? Is it wheat? Does it inform and nourish me? Only I can winnow my truth from their conspiracy. A relaxing afternoon day bedding in the sun. In a corner, a bright blue flexi tub, it should be trug, full of water, becomes my conscious thought. The memory then gets triggered. Years have passed since a leaving do at work. How much they would be missed, whispered in my ear, was not much. Later, like a hand in water, once removed, all is as it was, untouched. How harsh, I pondered and then held on to, understanding that piece of wisdom, shaping many decisions following. Will my hand in this water make a difference? And if no, make a move. Step off your fence. Today I decided, enjoy carbohydrates. A ponder on tea cake, muffin or pikelet. Int co-op, it's a crumpet, it says on the packet. But my pikelet is thick with holes joined by dough, lengthy toasting required, and it has to be slow. After, when the crusts are dark brown, hot cavities waiting for the butter to spread and begin dripping. Jaws clench, bite through my squeaky feast. Pikelet or crumpet, oh bugger, just eat. I am an apple, allowed to be me growing quite naturally here on my tree. A hole being ripped apart, lacerations viewed with dispassionate interest, how much more beautiful, entire, uncut, 
unexpurgated, full and overflowing, animated with colour and form, relished in its fullness, that film, that story, that poem. How do things just happen? Agency? Indifference? Negligence? Compliance? Acceptance? Defiance? Choose the right premise, not an option to lose. Sacrifices, progress, greed, the fuse. We've been squandering our convenient lives, wallowing self-absorbed whilst our planet dies. Act with faith, speak out. One humane voice, stronger together. Walk a year in dignity or ride in shame. New generations treading paths of our pain. The fear is here. Fight with light. I look to our youngsters their right to choose to wear stronger shoes. So, you've bled me dry. And how do you do that when you don't even bleed? So, you try reaching into spirit to assuage your stress. And the angst when you can't. So, hit any bottle, a gulp, a glass, simplistic and facile, knocking back air castles. I remember that time too precious to waste. When I listened to gentle snoring and breathing, in the darkness, my lone wolf sleeping. Can't get near him. I reach, touch, a recoil. Is he dreaming? Far away, padding through forest. I can't follow. I'm so lonely. My ears detecting the whistling through different trees. I think of this at the end of my day. I lived, fulfilled my promises, and alongside that, my dreams. Dreams die prematurely when they are undefended. I strongly defend my dreams as distillations of my life. Of course, I strive, working, learning, for the security we all seek. I know I take as well as give, that my dreams may live. The bedding so cosy, so warm, embraces me. Dream death awaits, ready to assassinate. All illusion of control dissipates. I dream on.